Film sound. We kind of know when film sound is bad, and as evidenced by this kung fu movie that I have loaded into Pro Tools. Let's let's just take a little laugh here. So I keep hearing the same k -k -k over and over again, even though the movements and the spatial relationships of the actors are all changing. Check out this awesome lip sync. This is a, obviously an English language dub of a foreign film, which means that the voice was recorded later, albeit very poorly. Watch this. The drain. <laughs> You just let me take care of it. We'll see when Tang comes back. Don't worry, you just let me take care of it. So, this is so bad, it's like, good. Watch this. This is, this is awesome right here. The sound effects are so off and wrong. Watch. Yes! Truly amazing, but... Okay, so this is bad, so bad it's good. But there's a reason that film started out silent, and that is because film sound is very, very difficult to do. The modern-day pioneer of film sound is a man named Walter Murch, and he was on a Francis Ford Coppola movie that was so far over budget and had such bad location sound, and they feared that they could never release this film, and basically... Walter Murch and a few other guys did what was unheard of at the time, which was re-record all of the sounds on top of the picture. And he became the father of sound design in modern-day film. And it's interesting to note that he uses Pro Tools for much of his work, and so do we. So let's move on to the next little bit of history and we roll. <laughs>